Hello and welcome to CS230. This is lecture 16 and this is lesson 4. In this lesson we're going to have a brief introduction to CRUD using MongoDB's Node.js driver. It's just really a getting started guide but it should give you a little overview of each of the four CRUD activities. In order to be started with this of course you need to have already installed your MongoDB server or you need to have access to the Mongo Atlas online service. You need to have your Node.js installed and you also need to have in already installed your driver with your MongoDB driver with um, NPM for Node. So um, once you have those set up, we should be good to go. Okay. So in order to make this connection, um, I always advise that you use and make an authenticated connection. So that means you have to have previously or already set up a user. Um, with uh, authentication against a particular database and having roles um, where they can access, update, delete, etc. Add to um, to uh, some other database, okay, for practice, okay. It's really important that you do this. So uh, you use a base to make a basic connection. You use this, um, you use the the library MongoDB um, and the Mongo client object, um, and you just create a Mongo client variable or in this case it's not a variable, it's a constant, okay? Then you need to have an address for your actual location, and um, that's your URI, Uniform Resource Indicator, okay? And then you create a client, a connection, using Mongo Client and this address, okay? Then you can use the connection by saying client.connect. Um, here we're just looking at uh, accessing a database called test and collections called devices and we can perform and we're getting a reference to that and then we can perform any kind of uh, any kind of actions we like on that collection okay and of course the actions that we perform will be similar to the CRUD act actions that we were able to do using the the mongo shell but we're going to be using the node.js implementations of those which are just methods and functions when we're done we close the connection it's not too difficult. Now, this is not a great setup because here we have our MongoDB username and password exposed. So ideally, we should save them in a separate file called connect.js and then require them or load them here. And then we use, so we're exporting the URL here from this, um, this module, and then we can access that. And I use those extensively throughout my, my tests. So the other good thing for, way, reason for doing this is that if you have your Atlas details in atlasconnect.js and your local details in your local connect.js, then you can just switch between them as you need to, just to do testing on either your client and um, your client uh, here and um, connecting locally or to, to Atlas. And it's a nice way to do that. An actual better way to do all of this would be to create some environment variables that connect to, that, that contain the settings. So, you know, I create a, a Mongo remote URI here as a as a shell variable here and you can do the same thing with windows and then the environment variable can be accessed from within your code by saying process.environment mongo remote uri in this case here because that's the one we were using in either um, mac os linux or windows to contain those details but okay so that's something you need to do and get going with in the future okay right so let's work with crud and node.js so what i've done really is i've modified the crud apps that were provided by the Node.js MongoDB 3.5 driver and the quick start guide. So all of the activities are just basically expressed as methods or functions and then you can call the ones you want. So you can uncomment the code block that you like. So it's a fairly example. The link here to the actual quick start guide is here at the top of this link and on this file I'll provide you with this file. Okay so all my connections happen here. Okay you'll notice that I'm using this um, as recommended by the, um, the quick start guide the assert module and the assert module it's just a Node.js module, um, and you use this and can use this for um, unit testing. So we'll just continue to have that. Okay, so I create my client, I'm using the test database, and I know that the user, the authenticated user in this particular, specified by this particular URL, has access to manipulate test. Okay, I make my connection. Okay, as usual, but I'm just making I'm just making sure that uh, everything connects nicely, and then I'm using this particular database. Okay, which I've set up here. It's test, as I said already. And now we can, we have a lot of basic examples that we can work and use um, so, um, and play with. So we have a whole bunch of um, examples here um, and we will go through them one by one with the actual code. Really what's happening is that um, this one's uncommented. So here I am actually um, 
still connected, okay, I'm using this database, and I'm inserting documents into the database. And when that's done, I have the callback function, I'm going to update a document, and then I'm going to remove a document, then I'm going to close the document. And I come back from all the callbacks here, a nice bit of callback hell going on, and then, um, and uh, that's very straightforward. So here's the, here's the, the function or method that actually performs the callback. So um, it takes um, the database here and provides that callback function so we can pass back the results. Okay, so and the collection that we're going to use is called documents, okay, because I know that this one doesn't really exist already and we can check that it doesn't exist because we can go to our, um, we can go and look at show collections here. And this is, okay. So we can see that we don't have documents here. Same if I look at my show collections here. I don't, this is the Mongo um, cluster. Right, so we're okay on that. Okay, so that's good. Right, so, um, and all we're doing here is we're, in using, we're inserting lots of items here, um, three items actually, okay? And then we're testing to make sure that we got the three, doc the three documents inserted. And then we're done. So that's how our function that inserts documents. This is our function or method to find documents. And that finds documents. Um, uh, and this one finds all of the documents, okay? So it's finding all of the documents. That's just a nice way to find all the documents. We can apply a filter, just as we did in the Monk. So we're looking for all documents um, that where the last name matches done, okay? And then we're updating a document, so we're updating a document, so we're using update one method here, and we're changing Alondra Dunn's purple email to Alondra Dunn's red mail. Okay, that's fine, we've done that, and we're resetting the email. And then I can remove a document, and I'm just deleting one, and I'm removing Alondra Dunn's um, uh, record because we're searching and matching for, um, for a record or document that matches uh, an email for alondradoll at redmail.ie and that's the four activities so we can see some of these in action I guess um, let's go to the actual code um, I have it open here in Visual Studio Code okay and we go to the JavaScript one so this is the program um, let's insert some documents so we'll uncomment this one well that's not the best way to uncomment because we do it this way okay okay so we're going to insert some documents, let's highlight it, and we just get rid of this one here. Because we just want to be able to do that. Okay, and then um, this is closing. This is the closing. So that looks good. We'll save it. And let's go to our browser and execute this. So we're going to test um, crud, I think it is. What was it called again? Codocs.js. Okay, I connected the server. That was a little bit slow. So um, we may actually be connecting to the, we searched it, we may be connecting to this one here, actually, to our, our let's have a look and see. Yeah, it was this one, because it was a little bit slow. And um, you know there's that slight delay before it connected. Okay, so let's have a look at the documents then. So. Um, Yep, and we can see that they were all inserted here. So that was fine. So the three records were inserted as we expected from within our, our app. So we go down and have a look at our insertions. Yep, and here were the three records, Alondra, Irlet, August, Bridget. And here we have Alondra, Irlet, and Bridget. Okay, so we know that those were, were good. Um, we could, let's run one where we just want to find done. So we know that Alondra done. So let's go and um, back up and see, can we find somebody? Okay, um, we'll find the filter document. So I'm going to comment this. We're going to start again. I'm going to come uncomment this. And now I'm going to go down and look at this section here where we're going to find the filter documents. So we're going to insert the documents and find the filter document. And that should be fine. What we want to do is drop this here. So um, we want to restart. Otherwise, it'll just overwrite. And, or, sorry, it won't overwrite. It'll just continue to add. So that, that collection is gone. Nothing in that collection, as we can see here. And let's, we've saved this, so we, this file here. Okay, um, and now let's go and execute this program again. We're down here. Okay, 
and it f inserted the three documents, it found this record here. So we were able to um, print out the documents and, and, and work with it. So we just verified that, um, yeah, we're back with these again. Okay, and it found this particular one as part of its query. So we can do some querying, search, retrieving, uh, insertion and retrieving. So let's look at updating a document now. So we'll, um, let's drop everything over here again. Now this is how I play, so you could do something similar with the code um, as well. So now we'll just go back up here and we'll uncomment this one. And now we look at um, updating a document. Uh, this one updates a document and removes a document. Okay, so let's see how this works. We look at the code for a sec, in a sec. Okay, so now we have that one done. So let's look at update document and remove document. So that gives us our last two activities. So to update the document, it changes the address from purple mail to red mail for a laundry done, okay? And then it um, it deletes a laundry done to red mail, okay? So it, it wouldn't be able to do this if we hadn't made a change. So that's a good test for us. Okay, we we'll save this and let's go and have a look at our terminal again we've already dropped the documents over here and we'll let's clear this okay so we successfully connected to the server we updated the document we reset the mail the mail for Alondra Dunn at red mail and then we removed the document with that okay so we should check when we log in here and check our documents we should really only see two records and we only have the two records, one for Erleth Kelly, one for Bridget Flynn, and Alondra Dunn is missing. So our update and delete or removal actually worked fine for us. Okay, so that's the full program. Here's some references you can look at. They're really good. You can check these references, um, and I recommend them. And again, um, when you're testing, it's a really good idea that you can switch connections back and forth between your local server and the Mongo Atlas cluster if you have one. And remember, we just have to go back up to the top of our program and we change or uncomment whichever line um, is appropriate depending on the server we want to connect to. Okay, that's it for CRUD with Node.js. Thank you very much for watching.